first stop of the season for the World Rally Championship. Colourful, dramatic, unpredictable, the WRC is a uniquely demanding series where variety is very much the name of the game. Travelling the world, across the continents, more than a dozen different countries, each presenting its own unique challenge. Contrasting terrain, gravel, often rough and rugged, a bumpy ride, spectacular sideways action through the corners. Snow, special spike tyres biting deep into the ice, offering stunning grip. Tarmac, the cars dropped to road-hugging race mode, low suspension, slick tyres. And contrasting conditions, hot, dusty mountain tracks, freezing forests, glorious sunshine, tiptoeing through the darkness, fog, rain, mud, no two events are the same. Hence the WRC's reputation as the ultimate test of man and machine. Fiercely competitive, the championship features some of the world's leading manufacturers and finest drivers on the planet. Each event typically run over three days, featuring around 20 timed special stages. The mission, simple, to complete each timed stage as quickly as possible. The fastest crew overall, at the end of the rally, wins. But the WRC is very much a team sport. Manufacturers typically run two or three cars at each event, high-tech, modified versions of commercially available production cars. A crew of two in each car, the driver, and co-driver, armed with pacemakers, a crucial guide to the road ahead. A unique language or code calling every upcoming twist and turn, a non-stop burst of information from start to finish, describing every corner moments before, and so allowing the driver to attack the road at optimum speed. The correct gear, the right line for each corner, Communication and concentration is key, but sometimes it goes wrong. Tight flat, five left, open, stop, 15 left, tight the fast, five left, and stop, three left, minus, into two right, minus. Ah! Oh, oh. Oh. Five left. Stop, three left. Five left. The service park, heart of the WRC travelling circus, an operational hub and home for the weekend to a crack team of mechanics, preparing and often repairing the high-tech, high-power WRC cars with extraordinary skill and speed. Even after a big crash, crews can return to the rally, cars rebuilt, carrying time penalties, but still with a chance to chase valuable championship points. Sometimes, though, there's no way back to base without an on-the-spot fix. Time for the best in the world to get their hands dirty. In this sport, the stars often have to carry out running roadside repairs. And occasionally, they have to take to the tools mid-stage, get a puncture, and it's down to the crews to fix it themselves. No help allowed. Even when things are going well, there are regular service stops routinely middle and end of the day. Running repairs or setup changes always against the clock, allowing the cars to return to action good as new. It's all part of a sophisticated high-tech operation overseen at each team's mobile service home, a strategic command centre, monitoring operations and much more. Before the rally proper gets underway, the crews run through the stages on reconnaissance, plotting every corner, compiling those crucial pace notes. Then, throughout the weekend, often liaising with weather crews, travelling to stages in advance, reporting back changes in conditions, ice, snow, rain, crucial intelligence, helping with tyre choice and overall strategy. 
Out on the stages, the action plays out in front of huge crowds, all part of the colourful, noisy spectacle. All enjoyed by millions of TV audiences worldwide. WRC sharing much of its DNA with its production routes. The competition typically staged on public tracks and roads closed off for the rally weekend. And crews making their way between stages on the general highway, bumper to bumper with local motorists, all subject to traffic laws just like the rest of us. Road sections are very much part of the event. Crews have to arrive at the next stage at a specified time, but there are penalties for checking in too early as well as late. Come Sunday, cars must return to the service park after the final time stage to complete the rally. Drivers and teams both chasing championship points, 25 for the rally winners. The top 10 finishers all score. And there are extra bonus points on offer for drivers in the showpiece end of rally power stage. Five points for the quickest through. So a potential 30 points in all for winning the event and the power stage. The perfect weekend, seldom achieved, nice when it happens. Come the end of the season, a simple equation. The driver and co-driver with the most points are crowned world champions. And the team with the most points become manufacturer world champions. A prestigious title with only a few weeks to enjoy the celebrations before it all gets underway again in Monte Carlo early in the new year. The WRC, colourful, competitive, compelling. <laughs>